Hey everyone, in this tutorial what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to create a custom look using various uh, makeup techniques and various different types of makeup and then save that custom look as a template so it can be reapplied to other images in the future. Alright, so let's get started. Um, in the fitting section here, the model has already, the uh, facial features of my model have already been fit. If you want to learn how to do that, you can check out our getting started tutorial. Um, so we're just going to go directly into the makeover section and I'm going to show you the uh, makeover that I'm going to be applying to this model. You can see I have some nice uh, smoky eye makeup there uh, with a nice light uh, teal color, uh, the complementary color of her red hair there. And some just nice ni nice light blush to complement uh, the uh, high angles of her cheeks to really bring those out and add some color to her lips as well. Um, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go to make sure I'm in the master section here and just select this no effect template and that's going to erase all the work that I've done there. Alright, so let's get started from scratch here. So what I want to do in the skin foundation section, if we zoom in on our model, you can see her skin foundation, is, her skin is already fairly, fairly nice, uh, fairly flawless skin already. Uh, some slight freckling, but we won't worry about that. We're not going to apply any skin foundation uh, for, this, uh, for this particular model. Alright, so in the facial makeup section, what I'm going to do is start off with the highlights and contours. So in the highlights and contours section, you can see there's a number of different options for me here. I'm going to choose a dramatic highlight and contour. I'm going to choose this Cleopatra one. And I'm going to show you the reason in a sec here. Uh, if I go into the masking tools here, you can see that uh, there's some nice highlights being applied to uh, the upper, upper part of her cheeks, her, her bridge of her nose and everything like that. But if I go into our contour layer, you can see that uh, there's some, the the, the uh, contours on her cheeks are really complementing her uh, her high cheekbones, so they're really bringing out the uh, the nice angles in her face there. All right, so what we're going to do is uh, close down the masking tools right now, and of course you can change the the uh, color and the intensity of all these highlighting contour layers as well. But we're just going to go on to the next step for now. In the beauty center, we're going to go on to the uh, blushes here. Now uh, I'm going to apply a blusher really quickly. There's a number of different folders you can apply here. I'm going to go with the uh, stick with the dramatic theme and I'm going to apply a model blusher here. And you can see this is going to apply some nice, uh, some fairly dark bronzer to the uh, to the lower part of her uh, cheek here. And uh, you can see if I uh, go into the uh, bronzer layer, the color is fairly dark. The blush layer is a little bit lighter and the popping layer is even lighter than that. And you can see where these are being applied here as well. Say for example, if I wanted to lighten this up a little bit, I can just select my color swatch here, and I can maybe just lighten that up, lighten that tone up a little bit. We don't want to be too dark. And you can see that I'll uh, lighten that up a little bit, make it a little bit less intense. We don't want anything too extreme here. In the blush section, if I wanted to change that to something a bit more lively, for example, I can even use my palette here. I can just select my uh, palette color there and change it to a nice bright pink there. Now you can see it's, it's very natural, um, very, uh, very appealing, adding some appealing colors to her face here uh, while not being too heavy at the same time. All right, in the popping layer, we'll just leave that the way it is. All right, so we'll go back in the beauty center here and we're going to add some color to her lips next. So in the lip section, what I want to do is just add a nice uh, normal color to her lips. We can choose a, either a shimmer, a vivid color. There's a number of different templates you can apply. I'll just go into the uh, shimmer section here. And what we want to do, we'll maybe apply something like a, we can choose a cranberry to start off with. Cranberry will apply a nice uh, dark uh, color to there. That just gives some nice uh, blends in with the regular lip color to apply a nice uh, give some color to the lips, give some life to the lips, anyways. And of course, you can adjust the strength if you want there. If you find that the uh, lines are too sharp on the lips, you can also adjust the blur radius um, if you want it to be a bit sharper. You can adjust that uh, down. Uh, but we'll just leave it uh, something about 23 right now. And the contrast, the high contrast, make sure there's a lot of makes. Uh, certain that there's a lot of gloss on the lips right there. All right, so we'll just leave that the way it is right now and we'll move on to the eyes. All right, so the eyes are probably uh, the most uh, important part of this particular model here. We'll just start with the eyebrows here. And the eyebrows, we can just apply a natural female template. Her eyebrows aren't too important. We haven't really done much with her uh, with her eyebrows. We don't need to do much with her eyebrows rather. We can just choose something like this, uh, this Heidi template here. And once that's selected, you see that just adds some, some darkness to our eyebrows there. If we don't want to be that dark, we can actually use our uh, color picker here. We can choose a shade from her hair, her natural hair color there. Something like that would do. Oops. Very picky here. There we go. And we can even uh, darken that down a little bit as well. Something about there. I mean, it's a little bit... Uh, it looks okay. You can see it's just... Uh, adding some uh, lines to her eyes there, adding some emphasis to her eyebrows. And if we go into the masking tools here, you can see on the very edge of the uh, eyebrow on, the, on her right eyebrow that uh, we don't want it to be going over top of her hair there, so we can just actually uh, increase the brush strength and just erase all that out of the way there. 
All right, so that's just uh, removing all that. We've got a nice, nice defined eyebrows, some nice blush on her cheeks. And we'll move on to the next step of the eye makeup, which is the eyeliner. I always use the eyeliner before the eyelashes there. In the eyeliner, we'll just choose a uh, regular soft. We're not going to choose anything too extreme here. Uh, regular soft template. We can either choose a cat eyes. Any any uh, any um, eyeliner template would look good on this model. Um, to be honest with you, we'll choose this outer corner A. Just, just add some nice uh, light um, uh, eyeliner around the edges of her eyes. There, you can see if I zoom in, it, that's how it looks right there. Maybe even increase the strength a little bit. There we go. Just um, brings out the eyes a little bit more, draws some more attention to the eyes. Nothing too extreme though. We're not going to do anything uh, crazy in this tutorial. And we'll go back and we'll move on to the eyelashes. So in the eyelashes, again, we're not going to do anything too extreme. We'll just choose a uh, regular template here. And we can choose something like a mascara upper. I want to emphasize the upper part of her eyes there. And of course, if you want, you can uh, adjust the thickness. Let me make this thick, a little bit thicker there. You can see the individual uh, eyelashes uh, in place there. If we zoom out, you can see now that there's a lot more attention drawn to her eyes there. And for the last step, we're just going to add some nice um, light eyeshadow here. So some professional looking eyeshadow, something a bit formal. Uh, we'll go to the uh, intelligent uh, templates here. And what we want to do is choose a flash teal. I'm choosing teal because it's a fairly complementary color of the uh, of the natural red color of her hair there. And it kind of just uh, really complements that uh, color as well. So you can see if we zoom in there, there's a nice uh, nice uh, teal shade, um, some smoky teal shade around her uh, around her between her eyebrows and, and the hair there. And of course, we can go to the masking section here. We want to erase all that part, all that area there that's uh, going over top of the hair, so as not to uh, give the impression of uh, makeup going over top of the hair. Uh, with foundation layer, we can erase that as well. You can see now that that's a lot better. Now the uh, makeup looks a lot more natural as it's not going over top of her hair. And of course, if I want, I can maybe even adjust this to a little bit brighter, maybe a little bit of a brighter color, um, just to lighten it up a little bit. All right, and there you go. Uh, what I want to do next is maybe just um, add some, uh, some cosmetic uh, lenses here um, on the iris. So let's go to the iris section here. And we'll go to natural and what we want to do uh, i'm going to give her a natural kind of a emerald or a jade a jade color would be nice on her eyes or a turquoise as well let's just choose a jade one for now and then we can maybe even darken that up a little bit uh, darken the contact lenses there you can see now that it just kind of brings out that really uh, nice popping green color in her eyes there all right so that's about all i'm going to do for this model you can see it's a fairly nice uh fairly nice template fairly natural really brings out her eyes a lot uh, with this, what we wanted to add emphasis to is her high cheekbones and her eyes there. And from this point on, all we need to do is go uh, back into the beauty center. We'll go to the uh, master section, make sure you're in the master section there. And what I want to do is uh, select save as a custom template, this icon here. Once I do that, it'll render the image. And what I want to do, we'll save this as, uh, we'll save this as redhead. Just uh, give me a vivid um, picture of what uh, template we're saving here. So that's uh, saved as redhead now. And now what we're going to do is we're going to load a picture of the same model um, in a different, uh, in the same series of images. And we're going to do that right now. We're going to go over to open project. I'm going to open the project because this has already been fit. And we're going to select the uh, other image here, custom makeup 02. And once that loads up, I'll show you that there's been no makeup applied whatsoever to the model yet. You can see it's a very uh, similar image. Then go over to the makeover section and you can see that there's no makeup being applied yet. But we still are in the custom folder here of the content manager. And if I want, I can just simply double click on this redhead template. What that'll do is that'll load up that template that I applied. And you can see because I've done the facial fitting already that everything is applied exactly where it should be. Um, the nice light uh, teal makeup along the eyeshadows, um, the, the irises pop out because of the uh, jade um, uh, cosmetic lenses we applied there and some nice color to the lips. All right, so that's basically what, what you can do uh, to create your own custom look. If you create a custom look that you really like, you can just save it as a template, and then you can apply it to any of your other images in the future and create uh, nice looks like this. So thanks for watching this tutorial, and hopefully you learned a lot.